Duh. Did Sexy Red call some of her girls from the hood and gang up and jump Doja Cat? Child, at this point, we need to send all these rap girls to therapy or something. Cause it looks like they all haven't beef with each other and it gets messier every day. This came after it was reported that Sexy Red and Doja got into it backstage while they was both preparing to perform at the wireless festival. This was a shock to a lot of people, including me. Cause Sexy and Doja never had no type of altercation in the past, so it's real unclear where all this mess came from and why Sexy's first thought was to jump Doja the minute they set eyes on each other. One thing about Doja, she might be quirky and silly, but baby, she ain't gonna never allow somebody to press up on her and bully her. And she didn't waste no time in making Sexy aware of that. Salute my guys, welcome to the Good Breath Show, where we learn and study these stars so we know how the regular folks are moving, guys. Today, we got Sexy Red Speaks on Jumping Doja Cat and Selling Her Soul. Salute to the Urban Air for the content that we're going to react to. Let's get straight down to it, guys. Now, if you've been keeping up with Miss Sexy, then you know she's been all over the news recently for all the wrong reasons. I mean, right from the start of her career, people barely had anything nice to say, but things have only been getting worse for her, and she's honestly not doing nothing to change folks' minds. If anything, she keep doing stuff to piss people off and enable the hate they already have for her. First, people was accusing her of making overtly explicit music and targeting it to young black kids. And just recently, she was accused of being a member of the Illuminati. Illuminati. Stop. I think you're going to want to hear this. Sexy Red was online and revealed to the world that she might have sold her soul. And some people think that she playing. Y'all know damn well this girl ain't playing. Y'all don't want to believe the truth because y'all want to live vicariously through this woman because y'all not working. Y'all don't work on yourself and y'all don't build nothing in life. So y'all live vicariously through these stars that remind you of yourself. But y'all know she ain't lying. None of these stars is lying. Just a lot of them won't tell you. Not every one of them is bold. But you know, these women in our community and in our society and culture, they have a license to act retarded. And when you put two of them in the same place at the same time, boom. It's time for me to just keep it a honey with y'all. Like, <laughs> yes, they got me in this shit. I don't know. I can't get out of it. I'm getting too much money. I'm getting too much money. I don't want to get out of it. That's what y'all wanted to hear. Now I'm saying it. They talk about stop playing. We just left this Hollywood party, baby. This Balenciaga party. Fuck with Balenciaga. Fuck with Lindsay. Lindsay cool, he cool. No, nah, what'd he say? When you uh get your uh Texas, I want I bring me Balenciaga. Bring me Balenciaga himself. And this is the Balenciaga part that she was talking about with people like Kim Kardashian, Lil Wayne, Two Chains. Where she says, Thank you, Balenciaga, for inviting me to the fashion show. And we already know what Balenciaga be on. The problem is people think these rappers be playing when they tell me all the truth. Even down to look at what's on top of her head. People be thinking it's a game when it's right in front of your face. She be getting too much money. She told you. The accusations about her trying to push her crazy music to black kids started after she pulled up to two different schools to perform her very adult rated music to the kids. What's even worse is that she pulled up smelling like weed. Nobody called the police. So look, so this school right. put me, I came up here, got you. Try to talk to the kids, get in the water today. They gonna put me off me. Tell me that's my like, watch this. <laughs> he gonna try to get mad. Oh, man. You're nobody. Man, like I'm finna sit with y'all. They ain't come to see you, Otis. Otis? People were obviously turned off by this nonsense, and it got so bad to the point that she and Lord Jamar ended up getting into some beef online because he said she was being used as a demonic instrument to ruin the black community and degrade black women and kids. They were trying to bring her to a school. 
to like talk to the kids, right? But she pulled up to the school smelling like so they didn't let her in and she got mad. <laughs> and she got mad, so she got, went outside and, and, and uh, opened the sunroof to the limo or whatever and was like twerking out the limo while all the kids, while all the kids gathered round and cheered her on. That's a normal part of the culture now. They see that, they see their mama do it. Soon as a black woman do some dumb shit or get checked or have to be held accountable, she'd bust out and start twerking. Everybody do it. That's what the whole culture is doing. Just bust out of nowhere and start twerking. You know, Sexy Red looked like the type of girls like back in the days, like you walk in the room and you'd be like, smell like somebody was here. As if that wasn't bad enough, she came under fire for having multiple STDs and being an awful mom to her kids. Oh, I came man. to work, he yeah. with me, baby. Yeah. And I used to be like, go take the Yeah. Of course, but nigga don't choose me. Right. Like, I'm a fan. <laughs> so this what happened. He was in the car with her and he like, I, I gotta use this to bust my hooks. I'm like, okay, that's cool. Do what so what's a bust? What's, what's, what's... Bust a jug. Okay. A play. I'm like, okay, go ahead. Go hop in the car. So they got in a car accident. He left his phone in a car accident and left her at the scene. Cause you know, he can't be in the car. He right. gonna get locked up. Right. So he left her. Clearly she went right. through his phone and saw a video of him eating my car in the phone. And she posted it on the internet. I had a photo twice. Okay. But I, I mean, never had that's the most pretty common. common yeah, TV. very common. This what happened. Me and my together mm -hmm. and we broke up because he was cheating on me so then we broke up then i went and did me <laughs> then oh, he shit. did him and then we got, got we together. missed each other came back together and something went right we both was like what the <laughs> is this feel <laughs> oh, like Ugh, what's going on so <laughs> then we both went to the doctor went to the doctor, doctor, yeah, went to the doctor yeah. together houston forty-two thousand new hiv diagnosis last week Keep listening to Sexy Red. Bow, bow, bow. Keep listening to the city girls. See what they won't tell you? That this is the dark side that comes with this lifestyle that they promote. What Megan Thee Stallion said, I don't want to be saved, don't save me. See, I got enough wisdom to know there are some women who don't want to be saved. They don't want the wisdom, the knowledge, the education. They just want to be picked. They just want to be sexualized. The Bible calls them a reprobate mind. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm going to stay in my Bible and I'm going to stay in my bag and I'm going to stay out the way because God's way is the safest. And I guarantee you about 70% of those new diagnoses are Gen Z. 27 and below. This hypersexual agenda that's being pushed through our media and our music and our TV shows is ruining a lot of people's lives and is demonic. Affecting our younger generation and is putting this pressure on them to have a certain When it comes thing. to her apparently being a bad mom, those allegations have been going around for a while now because of her behavior and how she carries herself. However, it reached its peak a few weeks ago when TMZ leaked security footage of her and her crew getting into a fight at the airport. People accused her of not being a good example to her children and even asked for CPS to check on them. Sexy did not take these comments very well and she wasted no time in clapping back. She's like, why she don't post her kids? Why did you, Why is y'all worried about my kids? Like, they right here cool, they fed, they clean, they good. What's going on? Why is y'all worried about my kids? Go have some kids and worry about them dirty the f For real. Okay, I'm sorry, but they be pissing me off. Like, yeah, my kids is right here, they good. They always with me. Thank you. Good and fed. Very, very well fed. A lot of toys over here, big ass. House we live in rich baby mama. Talk about where the kids at? My kids ain't got Instagram. Is you cool? 
My kids ain't on Instagram. They're not gonna be on Instagram. They don't have Instagram. But it looks like all these back-to-back -back controversies just ain't enough for Sexy to pipe down a little bit and stop acting up. Cause she just got to trending again after it was reported that she and her crew attacked Doja Cat at the Wireless Festival in UK. It's unclear what exactly led to this altercation between the two of them, but some eyewitnesses who were backstage claim they had a fight over who was supposed to go on stage and perform because the organizers of the show had to cut off the time that they both had to perform. Now, in case y'all don't know, the Euros 2024 was happening as a result of this festival had to be cut short because folks were flooding the streets of London. One thing about the Europeans, they don't play about their football. So once people started flooding the streets, the festival was closed early so people could go home and watch the game. As a result of this, the time that the artist had to perform was cut a little short and apparently this became a problem between Doja and Sexy backstage. They was allegedly throwing insults at each other and at some point, Doja allegedly called Sexy a trans person. Chill. The blind item who spilled this tea said the man feline got into a fight at a festival with the red industry plant and called her an undercover man. Doja Cat and Sexy Red Wireless Festival 2024. Now, neither Doja or Sexy came out to confirm these rumors, but they ain't deny it either, which was more than enough reason for people to believe it and start dragging Sexy for trying to book Doja. One person said, I don't see Doja having much respect for Sexy as a performer and an artist. Another person said, Doja probably was offended having to share space with Raggedy Red. So as y'all can see, people were on Doja's side because she barely gets into it with anybody. That girl minds her business, performs, goes on live, and that's just about it. So the fact that this is happening between her and Sexy makes people suspect that Sexy is probably the one who got to getting disrespectful first. And according to multiple reports, Sexy thinks Doja deserved getting jumped because she's too disrespectful and she wouldn't mind jumping Doja again. Chill, chill, chill. I just need to see some footage to see if they really got into it. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Doja and Sexy allegedly getting into it in the UK? And do y'all think Sexy started it by disrespecting Doja first? I think they both started it. They just don't like each other. Y'all do know that um, Doja Cat got that song, Paint the, Paint, Paint the Town Red. And you know, Sexy Red might not be feeling that. And she came out with that in 2023. So this is just what happened when you have two entitled females, two modern women sharing the same space. But don't sleep. Just because Sexy Red is the ratchet loudmouth, that do not mean that the ratchet low-key sneaky one didn't start it, guys. So just pay attention. Like I said, when you're working on yourself, these women, women like these, is just pure entertainment for the guys that's just working on themselves and on their purpose, guys. I I ain't gonna hold y'all much longer. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you like celebrity gossip, news, local news, go on and subscribe. Enjoy the rest of your day. See y'all later.